Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to do a video cookery lesson for you. I'm going to show you how to pan fry salmon. Over here I've got a pan and I'm going to turn the temperature up to as high as it will go. Um, I've got some olive oil here which I'm going to use um, as garnish um, at the very end. Uh, but I'm actually going to cook with vegetable oil. And whenever you pan fry fish, always use vegetable oil, don't use olive oil. And the reason is olive oil burns at a very low temperature. Um, and if it burns too low, um, all that's going to happen is the oil's going to burn and then you'll be able to taste the, the flavour of the burnt oil in the fish. Um, whereas uh, with a vegetable oil, or you could always use, you could use something like a grapeseed oil, uh, sorry, rapeseed oil or um, sunflower, corn oil, any, any of those uh, sorts of things will work really nicely. But the first trick is just to evenly glaze the bottom of the pan. You don't want too much, but at the same time you don't want too little. And I'm just going to keep that going for maybe another 10 seconds. Um, what I've got here is just a lovely fillet of fresh salmon, um, which I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to, not much. Just a pinch of salt and pepper on both sides and in that time it just allows um, that oil to come up to the temperature that I want. Right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to lay the fish in the pan. I'm going to lay it, when you put anything into a pan, always lay it away from you like that. I like to give it a good old shake just to check that it's, uh, the proteins aren't going to stick to the bottom of the pan. So just keep it moving. And the amazing thing about cooking fish uh, or pan frying it is how little time it takes. Now a fillet of this size, which is about 175, 180 grams, maybe a, a touch more. Um, this is only going to take about a minute and a half both sides. And it really is as simple as um, almost um, when half a side of the salmon has been cooked, you can flip it over. Um, and we're almost at that point. So I'm just going to use my um, spatula, as I said before, just cooking away from you, or, or, or pushing it away from you. Keep that pan moving. At this point, I'm now going to turn the temperature down because I don't need it quite so hot. And that's just going to carry on cooking. Um, now, we've had about 30 seconds each side. I'm just going to turn it over one more time, just to keep it moving. And I'm going to let that carry on cooking for another 30 seconds over on the other side for another 30 seconds and then we're done. Personally, I like the salmon virtually sushi. So I like it nice and pink on the inside. Um, and if you prefer your, your fish cooked all the way through, then obviously another minute is probably about as much as it's going to take. Um, so I'm just going to carry on a little bit more with that. All the while, what you want to do is ensure that the, the fat um, doesn't burn. And I'm just going to give it a nice even finish. And I want to give it another 30 seconds because I can. So consequently, I've turned it over again. All those flavours will be locked in. We've seasoned it before it's gone into the pan. Um, and what I'm going to do now, now that was where the raw fish was on, so I'm going to um, leave that as is. But I'm now just going to let that rest on there for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to pat this dry. Now, I can see that this is very pink in the middle, but again, it's absolutely how I like it. Um, I'm going to plate it up. Um, and what I've got here are some beans which have just been on the hob for about a minute and a half. I'm going to pass those through like that. Take that off. Just for the purposes of plating up. Uh, also, just to make the dish look uh, a bit more interesting. Move that out of the way. Fish goes on top, like that. A little squeeze of lemon juice. The ubiquitous dash of olive oil. And that is how to pan fry salmon.